the Denali Bluffs Hotel. Nestled in the spruce and birch trees of Sugarloaf Mountain with insane views of the Alaska Range and Nanana River Canyon, these clips just do not do the views any justice at all. Unfortunately, it is cloudy and raining during most of this shit, but that's just our luck. We did get about five minutes without clouds in the Fairbanks area, and we did get to see the northern lights for that five minutes, so we can't bitch too much. I will leave a link up top to a short video of the northern lights. We traveled from Fairbanks all the way to Seward on our Alaskan adventure, staying just about everywhere along the way. None of them were as nice as the Denali Bluffs. Everything about this place was great from the views to the water pressure, which was much needed at the halfway point of our trip, as most places in Alaska don't have shit for water pressure. We arrived in on the Denali Star from Fairbanks. The nice, comfortable Denali Bluffs bus was there to pick us up for the five-minute ride to the hotel. Check-in was a breeze with the room being prepaid. I gave them my name and they handed us our room cards. Our luggage was in our room within minutes of arriving. The coach ride and luggage service come at an additional fee of $16 per person one way or $22 per person round trip, but it made things super effing simple. On the grounds you will find 176 rooms spread throughout the 16 buildings, 112 of which are basic rooms with 64 being deluxe rooms. We went with a deluxe room to ensure we had a balcony to smoke things that we like to smoke. We were respectful about it and no one seemed to care. Every staff member that we came across was polite, informative and accommodating. A great bunch of people. You can get on the Aurora Borealis wake-up call list at the front desk. The Mountaineer Grill was pricey, but the barbecue pulled pork nachos were amazing and more than enough to feed two or even three people. The walk to the main strip in Denali takes about 10 minutes on their little walking paths. The staff will point you in the right direction. There is a self-service laundry room located at the front center of Building 23. Just be prepared to pay about $10 a load. The internet is acceptable by Alaska standards. They do offer multiple excursions, but we all know that we can get those at cheaper rates than most resorts offer them for. When it was time to leave, we set our luggage outside our room by 9 a.m. and the staff got them on the train to Anchorage. We then checked out at 10 a.m. and got on the bus back to the train depot. At the Denali Depot, we picked up our Gold Star class tickets and had plenty of time to walk around the park and check out the museum inside the visitor center. Be sure to subscribe to see future videos on both the Glass Dome Gold Star class on the Alaskan Railroad and the park and visitor center museum. Yes, it's more expensive than the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge but with amazing views that the princess just does not offer, while still being a lot cheaper than the Grand Denali. The Grand Denali is higher up on the mountainside, 
I just couldn't justify the price difference. At the end of the day, I personally think this is the best hotel to save a little bit of money while still having a super clean and up-to-date place to sleep and shower with amazing views. We would have spent more time here if we had not pre-planned everything else. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more bucket list travel spots. And remember, getting lost isn't always a bad thing.